Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. I was going to say that. <laughs> I, you can say welcome back to baby. Our next okay. guest is sweet as pie, but plays a villain you love to hate. She's currently killing it as the first lady of the United States in the BET series, The Oval. Let's take a look. You at least have to give the impression that you're excited about this job. You want to go to The Oval? Knock yourself out. How's Gail? So now you're the caring father. You really aren't concerned about Gail? No. You are the coldest reptile I've ever seen. Don't forget, the smartest one who put you here. <clears throat> yes. Woo. Please welcome Cameron Moore. Yay. 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 A twin somewhere. Yes. I think you have a twin right here in Atlanta. I hear. My God, you look just like Erica Dixon. That you is guys such are a so, compliment. both of you are so beautiful, Thank really you and so truly. Much. That is really a compliment. Do you hear it all the time? I do. And one day I hope to meet her. Yes, you yeah. should. You guys should yeah. take pictures and twin. Just be twin. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I think we need a photo shoot. Yes, you Let's do. Make that happen. So you, you're in acting now, and we know you from acting, but the little birdie tells me you were once in an RB group. I was. Really? What group yeah. was that? A couple. It was, uh, the name of it was Escape. It was a high school girls band. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, later on down the road, we did a, a cover band and it was called Merge. But yeah. Wow. Based out of Detroit. Wow. Some wonderful talent is there. Absolutely. So, yeah. Of course it is. Yes. You got every, you know, listen, Motown is there. So of course yeah, it's a absolutely. lot of talent there. So at what point did you know, like, no, you know, I'm going to put the mic down in terms of singing and I'm going to pick it up and act? Well, you know, I, I acted as a child, but mm -hmm. I, I was never really interested in it as an really? adult. Yeah. No, you know, I went Why? to school for well, I went to school for psychology, biology. I was pre med, pre physical mm -hmm. therapy, and I thought that was the road I was going to take. Right. And so after college, I went back for television news broadcasting because I thought, you know, that would be you fun. You would have been great at that too. Yes, you would. Yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but while I, while I was in the program one of my instructors suggested that I go seek out a talent agent. Mm. And I did a little bit reluctantly, but then I got in more involved in the industry and kind of was bitten by the bugs. Yes. So, yeah. yes. Okay, we're going, we're going to dig all the way into the Oval. <laughs> uh -oh. Okay. Uh -oh. We're going to talk about Victoria Franklin. Okay. Okay, <laughs> she's the wife of the president. Yes. White president, two biracial children. Yes. When you first read the script, what did you initially think? Oh my God! Mm. Really? Is this what we're doing? We're, yes. we're, we're, yeah. The mm -hmm. script goes in. For you, did, if you saw the first I, yeah, episode, let me tell you something. Y'all went all fighting and carrying on. Listen. At day one, I'm like, what is going on? Why are they, why are they so mad? <laughs> A lot of behind the scenes stuff you going know, on. I was in a 90 and Louboutins, and I actually did those stunts. Amazing, too. Yeah, I have a stunt double, and she did a lot of the hard stuff, but I did. You're that. a little risky. You like the thrill of you it. You know, it's it's so much fun. I learned so much on the set. Uh, first day, yeah. it was just crazy. Yeah, but reading the script was amazing. It, it was a page turner. Uh, every cliff cliffhanger at the end of each scene was just crazy yeah so I didn't want to put it down when I first got the script yeah so your character is multifaceted mm -hmm. where do you go to really get into being her and owning it I have to have a lot of quiet around me yeah <laughs> because, yeah, because yeah. um there are not a whole lot of parallels between myself and Victoria no because you're a sweetheart yes. thank you yeah. thank you yes. and she, she is she's, oh, she's always mad she's, she's mad all the time <laughs> it's well the man is it's not anger and there's a whole lot of everything it's girl <laughs> It's Gail. Yeah, mm, Gail. It's rage, though. Yeah. You know, and you know, we as as black women, we're always, ta you know, told, oh, smile. Why don't you smile? Mm -hmm. Why can't we be angry? Mm -hmm. Every now and then, That's you true. know, mm -hmm. it's it's in us, mm -hmm. and so you know, sometimes so it has to come out. Yeah. Uh, well, what was your audition process for working with Tyler Perry as the creator of The Oval? It was amazing. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. well I went in not even considering that I might be. You've been selected? No, no, Why? I mean, you know, because it was, a, it was a lead role, and I've never been, I, I've never had a lead role before yeah. for a major production like know. this. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. And so I went in, and I just, you know, I, I made some different choices, mm -hmm. something that I thought that they wouldn't expect. Ah, and so, yeah, yeah, it was it was amazing. Mm -hmm. I love it, love it, I love it, I love it. And we're going to have more with Kay Rue. When questions. we return, you want to stay right there, because I got some comparisons that I'm going to make. Uh, two shows out there, quite similar. Yes, I got to uh -oh. know what's happening, for real. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We 
are back with Karen Moore, still talking about one of my favorite shows right now, BET's <laughs> The Oval. Oh yeah, we got tea, honey, yes. when we were on the break. But I just want to talk to you for a second. So, um, your show, The Oval, has been compared to Scandal, in a sense. It and has. your character has also been compared to Kerry Washington's character. How do you feel about that? It's, it's a flattering compliment. Yes. Um, yes. But Victoria is not like, <laughs> she is not like Olivia Pope. I, I'll say that they're both strong mm -hmm. and they're both very smart, mm -hmm. but Victoria is volatile. Yes. Oh. Yes. yes. She, I, for me, I just got tired of uh, Olivia doing this. Oh. <laughs> I just got sick of that. I'm like, girl, fix your face. Come on. Like, do oh my God. You know, honestly, like, seriously. You, you, we you, love Carrie, though. <laughs> we love her. I'm talking about Olivia. Her character. I'm talking about Olivia. Yes. I'm not talking about Carrie. I'm talking about Olivia. I love Olivia. It was a drama. She just, we're all here. Okay, <laughs> I think it's a great compliment. Yeah, I we, do. We, we're going to go back to the Oval. <laughs> and we're going to talk about how Victoria she is very volatile. She's a villain for the show. But in real life, you're really sweet <laughs> and you. encouraging. And your social media is positive. Thank so you. is that the place you have to go to to kind of to swap the character that you play on television from the person you really are in real life? Yeah, I have to shed that. That, yes, that skin. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm about to, yeah. yeah I, right, have to, right. I have to shed it every every evening when I go home. Yeah. It's because it's it's heavy. Yes, it's, yeah. you know she carries a lot around a lot. So it's you know we really have to shed that. Yes. Does sometimes people see you on the street and actually think that you're like that? You know what? People have been amazing so good. far. And Very no, good. Nobody has confused me for Victoria. Good. Right. For my personal persona is, is is quite different. Really quickly, dream role, dream co-star. Ooh, um, dream role, oh my gosh. Dream role, dream co-star. Okay, dream co-star, Robert Downey Jr. Oh, oh yeah, yes, Major yes, celebrity yes. crush. And dream role, a superhero oh, villain. Oh, look at you. Oh, oh, but still a villain. Villain, yeah. yes, so much fun, oh, so much I, fun. I love it, I can't yes. wait to catch up from yesterday's episode. So Karen, thank you for coming. I'm thank going you. to get some more juice out of you. And please be sure <laughs> to turn into The Oval on BET Wednesdays at nine. Conversations always continue at Social Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. We busy trying to get all the juice.